renovations day one. We're going to be taking the seats out. It uh, looks like most of them just need a 14 mil socket. The ones at the back look a bit more complicated, but we'll get to them when we do it. Yeah, we're going to do it as quickly as possible because it's supposed to be like 45 degrees out here. So let's get it done. <laughs> Turns out it's actually 13 mil. <laughs> Okay, so these back seats are not easy. <laughs> there is this bolt that you need to get either with a hex head drill bit or an Allen key and hold on to the nut with a half an inch spanner. Once you get both sides out, you need to unhook the bottom bit here then lift it out as you slide we'll see if we can show you the process So after we just went through all that effort, we found a latch, if I can try and show you here. This one here, if you push it down, you can then pull the seats up. Awesome. Just as a side note, you've probably only got these types of chairs if you have a wheelchair access, which we do, which sucks. So as you just saw, we've just removed the seats from our Toyota Coaster. We removed all but the front driver's seat and passenger seat. It was much more simple than we thought it was going to be. It only took us around an hour. There were approximately four bolts in each chair. They were 13 millimeter, which we just removed with sockets. Most Toyota Coasters won't have a wheelchair ramp, so you shouldn't have the difficult seats that we struggled so terribly with. <laughs> Uh, but if you do, look around for a lever or some easy way to remove them. They are designed to come out. We just didn't think about that. Next week, we'll be looking at removing the heaters, which are currently on the floor of the bus. We'll also be trying to remove the vinyl floor itself, as well as the walls and the roof. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next time, thank you. Thank you. Phone went off. It did go off. Whatever. Let's see it now. Okay.